Hello, my name is Carmen Celayandia Gonzalez. I'm an early career researcher with the Andalusian School of Public Health and the University of Granada. And this is a video with key results and recommendations from my research on intersex uh, people's human rights for law and policy makers. What does intersex mean? Intersex is an umbrella term to describe a number of bodily variations in sex characteristics. Intersex people are born with sex characteristics that do not typically fit uh, social and medical definitions of male or female bodies, including sexual anatomy, reproductive organs, hormonal and or chromosomal patterns. There is nothing shameful about having an intersex variation. Intersex people have always existed, and intersex bodily variations encompass more than 40 different types of variations. Only a few of them require medical care. Throughout Europe and around the world, intersex persons face a wide range of human rights violations because of the diversity in their sex characteristics and are often subjected to stigma, misrecognition, pathologization, violence, including medical violence and other forms of degrading, humiliating and inhuman treatments. Likewise, um, intersex persons are exposed to different forms of discrimination that they experience throughout their life cycles, for example, in healthcare, education and employment settings, among others. One of the main concerns of intersex activists continues to be surgical interventions performed during childhood with the aim of normalizing intersex bodies to feed the socially and medically accepted male or female binaries. These surgeries are often framed as form of medical violence, harmful treatments, or forms of mutilation and or torture. My research suggests that other issues and claims for autonomy, integrity, and informed consent, as well as demands related to effective investigation and redress mechanisms and psychosocial support for intersex persons and their families have also gained visibility in recent years. International human rights monitoring bodies within the United Nations have highlighted um, some aspects regarding intersex surgeries and forced medical treatments that contradict international human rights standards. For example, that these surgeries and treatments are medically unnecessary, that are not urgent, that are carried out too early or mostly in children, that are intended to decide or assign sex, that are irreversible or have long lasting consequences. Some of these entail some level of pain and suffering, and of course, are carried out without the consent of the person. It is important to mention that intersex genital surgeries and unwanted treatments also violate the principles of bodily autonomy and integrity. This means the right that every person has to have their body respected and free from unwanted interference. If the surgeries are performed during childhood, um, other rights pertaining to children are violated, such as the right to development, the right to be heard and have their views taken into consideration, and the right to be free from violence. So what can law and policymakers do? Well, first, you can meet and listen to intersex persons. Intersex issues might be a complicated topic to understand, and therefore it's recommended that law and policymakers meet and listen to intersex persons directly to understand better their needs and demands. Believe intersex people. Even when intersex persons gain access to law and policymakers, which is not always easy, their claims are often dismissed as non-important or more valued is given to medical views that are often pathologizing and in direct conflict with intersex persons' concerns. Law and policymakers need to believe and give equal value to intersex persons' testimonies and life experiences. Be aware of the pathologization of intersex bodies. A great number of medical professionals and medical literature still has pathologizing views of intersex bodies. In most cases, intersex bodily variations are framed as disorders of sex development, DSD. So there's biased medical knowledge founded upon the idea of fixing or normalizing bodies 
and these tend to see intersex variation as a problem. However, most of these bodily variations are not harmful or life-threatening. So look for diverse sources of information that are not pathologizing and take human rights into consideration. Take action. Design and implement policies and legislation to guarantee the human rights of intersex persons. Harmful practices against them, against their well-being, have been normalized and socially and medically accepted and turned into systemic forms of human rights violations. Therefore, specific laws and policies may be necessary to counter this situation. Support access to information about being intersex and intersex persons' experiences and human rights. Promoting a culture of basic non-pathologizing and human rights-based information and education about bodily variations and diverse sex characteristics is a first step towards creating a more inclusive and accepting society. And harmful practices perform upon intersex persons. Law and policymakers should take action to end and prohibit medical practices such as surgeries or hormonal treatments that are performed without the intervening person's consent if they are too young to understand and when the interventions are not urgent to, or necessary to save the person's life. Take the necessary steps to provide reparations and redress to those who already suffered because of these medical harmful practices. Thank you.